King 5's Glenn Farley joining us now. Glenn, what might the quake in Mexico today and the quake that happened even a couple weeks later have in right. common with so one here? Our ge geological situation is right. very similar. A lot of the basic building blocks are there. They're just not built exactly the same way. So I'm going to give you a little demo. Think of this piece of ceiling tile as the earth. This is the part where we're walking around on here. This is where our buildings and our bushes is. And there's this other slab. This is the subducting slab. We've been talking about in recent weeks as part of earthquake preparedness and everything else, this kind of faulting here, this kind of slipping, which you typically think of an earthquake. That's not what happened here. What happened here is that lower slab broke. It snapped mm -hmm. and it was being pushed down and it started to pull away. And that's what gave us the earthquake. And that is not really unlike what we got here in our 6.8 in 2001, again, very deep underground in that lower slab. Let me show you a picture from the U.S. Geological Survey here uh, that we got from the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. You can see actually the quake is that red dot. That is the bending portion. That quake a few weeks ago in Mexico was also in the slab, but quite a ways away, even off to sea. It was beyond the coast but still created all sorts of damage. And Bill Steele with the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network give you a better feel of how this all fits together. One of the unique things about Mexico is as this slab subducts into the trench, it then goes horizontal and just kind of slides under Mexico for hundreds of kilometers without really going deeper. And then it bends right under where this earthquake occurs to dip down into the mantle. So this is a so-called Benioff zone earthquake. Again, this is where the ocean floor, that ocean slab, is basically being recycled deep within the earth and as it gets down there hotter, it starts to get more plastic, it's more pliable, but the further up you go, it is cooler, it is more brittle, it is more likely to give us this kind of shaking. Wow, I've never seen it explained that way, but that explains the force when that, that thing force. breaks. Yeah, when you just, wow. you just hold it and then boom, it yep. goes. All right, Glenn, thank you.